Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm wonderful because today is Thursday and we love Thursdays. Now, who are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? We're talking about a person and a place. Which person? I will show you. Me. No, not me. Me. And who am I? Superman. You know Superman. Am I Superman? No, I'm not. But I'm super. We don't care about Superman. I want to know where does Superman live? Don't say America. Yes, he lives in America. But where? Which city in America? New York? Well, many superheroes live in New York. Spider-Man? I don't know. Many more. We're going to talk about Marvel and DC very fast. The Marvel characters live in real cities like New York. But DC, those characters, fake cities. Whoever writes these movies and these comic books, they just make up new cities. So, we don't care about anyone else, only Superman. Eh. His city has a long name, and I don't care if you remember this name, <clears throat> you can forget, but let's talk about it today. The name is, <sighs> can you read this? Say it slowly. Metropolis. Say it again slowly. Metropolis. Now say it fast. Metropolis. Yes, Metropolis is the name of the city. Is it a good name? I think it sounds good. But are they so smart they made up this name? No. Metropolis is a word. So we're going to change the capital M. Now it's not the name of Superman City, now it's just a word. Metropolis. Lowercase m. So, what does this word mean? Well, they made this word to be the name of Superman City, and the word means city. So, Taipei is a big city, not a small village. So Taipei is a big metropolis. Any other big metropolises in Taiwan? Yes, Tainan is a metropolis. Anything smaller than, I'm sorry, not Tainan, uh, Kaohsiung. Anything smaller than that, maybe you don't call it a metropolis. So, we're gonna cut this word in half. We have metro and opolis. Do you know this word metro? I think you do. What is this? It's not a train. It is a train. But this is the train you see in Taipei. Underground. It's the MRT. Let's do a little search. A Google search. I googled Taipei MRT. And what comes up? Well, do you see the word metro? I think you do. The Taipei Metro. So the MRT is metro and then R and T? No. The M, I think you can see mass, rapid, transit. Mass just means a lot. 
Are there a lot of people on the MRT? Yes. So mass means very big or very much. Very many or very much. Rapid just means fast. So many people, very fast. Transit. Does it look like the word train? Transit just means to move. So many people quickly moving. MRT. But the metro, that's another word for MRT. Because metro means city, like Superman's city. If you go to a farm, do they have an MRT? Do they have a metro? No, you don't put a metro on a farm because the farm is not a city. They don't have a million people living on a farm. Very few people live on the farm. So, the metro is for a metropolis like Taipei. And yes, I think Kaohsiung also has an MRT, but I don't think I've ever been on it, so you tell me if it's any good. Now it's time to look at the vocabulary, and we're starting with number 25, but before we do 25, I'm going to zoom in, and maybe you see number 27. Do you see the last five letters? P-O-L-I-S? Does that look like the end of the word metropolis? You're very smart. We will talk about that later. Right now, just look at 25. I know you remember the word treasure, and I think you remember what a treasure chest is. We're looking at a beautiful treasure chest with lots of gold and other things worth lots of money. But I already told you treasure has another meaning. It's also a verb. I know in your vocabulary it's not a verb, but I want you to learn a little extra. Remember, we love treasure. We love money and gold. So the verb treasure means to love something because you think it is wonderful. So the example that I gave you was your mother treasures you because you are her little baby. But maybe you have something, a toy. Don't say a video game. You don't treasure your video games. You don't like video games. But maybe you have a toy. It could be a teddy bear or a blanket. You would not say you treasure all of your toys. You would only say treasure for your favorite one. I think every child, at least when you're younger than this, maybe first grade or kindergarten, you had a blanket or a teddy bear or some toy that was your favorite. You treasured that toy or teddy bear. Okay. Moving on to number 26, hobby and hobbies. I think you can remember how to spell. You drop the Y and add I-E-S. So don't forget to kill the Y. Now, what is a hobby? It's what you do for fun. Now, I know you have your hobbies. Again, don't say video games. Yes, a video game is a hobby. But I don't like it, so I don't want to hear you say that. Now... I know you have your hobbies, but you need to remember that maybe your hobbies are very different from your grandfather. You think of hobbies as fun, like video games, or playing basketball, or playing with your teddy bear. Remember that ugly teddy bear I just showed you? Kind of scary. Whatever. It can be a cute Hello Kitty doll. Those are your hobbies. but. Does your grandfather have the same hobbies as you or your grandmother? Maybe your grandmother likes to make clothes. She makes you a sweater. That can be a hobby. Or maybe cooking food. Some people cook because they're hungry. Other people cook because they love it. I have a friend. She bakes cookies. 
but she doesn't eat cookies. She brings them to me. And yes, sometimes I eat cookies. Sometimes I eat food that's not healthy and nutritious because I really like chocolate chip cookies. Remember, most important is that your hobby is what you do for fun. Now, do I like to edit videos and put cute little stickers, cute little animated stickers? Yes, I love it. I make videos all the time. You maybe saw my stupid baby videos. That's my hobby. But right now, I'm putting all these silly stickers trying to make the video cute for you. But I'm not doing it as a hobby right now. Right now, I'm doing it for school. So, it's my hobby, but it's not what I'm doing. But I'm sorry. But right now, I'm not doing my hobby. Right now, I'm doing work. Just like you. Maybe you love to read. You like to read adventure stories. Do you remember the word novel? You like to read adventure novels like Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a fantasy adventure novel. But when you're reading your textbook, you're not doing your hobby. You're doing work. I think you understand, so we can move on now. We are back to the word that sounds like and looks like Superman's home, Metropolis. So, this is a very long word, and I can see the Chinese looks like it helps you say the word, helps you pronounce the word in English. But let's just say it slowly. Indiana. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Now say it fast. Indianapolis. Indianapolis is a city. Remember, in America, there are 10,000 cities, but there are 50 states. One of the states is called Indiana. And what is the city, the metropolis, in the state of Indiana? It's called Indianapolis. I know, it sounds really bad to say them together. Indianapolis, Indiana. Maybe not a good name. But now you know why we were talking about Superman. Did we talk about Superman because we like to talk about comic book characters? Or because we should learn Metropolis and then Indianapolis? Okay, it's because you like cartoon characters. Now, you don't really need to remember Indianapolis. There are so many cities in America. There are so many cities in the world. But this was in your reading. And I think it's a good name to learn because you should learn the word metro and metropolis. Number 28 is very easy because this is the name of your book for three years now. First grade, second grade, third grade. Your whole time in elementary school, your textbook was called Nat Geo. And I remember talking about this with you, but we didn't talk about it for a long time, so maybe you forgot. Nat is short for national which means country, but it's an adjective. Nation means country. National is just the adjective. Geographic. Geo is short for geographic. Geography is a noun. It means talking about the earth and maps. When you're looking at a map you're looking at it, the geography. So, Nat Geo is just short for National Geographic, and both of those words are adjectives. Because it was a magazine. Does everybody know what a magazine is? It was called National Geographic Magazine. But that's a little long, so they stopped saying magazine and just called themselves 
National Geographic. And now they have TV shows, TV stations. So yes, they don't need to say magazine, just National Geographic. But that's still very, very long. That's a long name. So, Nat Geo. And you're on YouTube right now watching my class. When you finish, if you don't have any other classes, you can go on YouTube and check Nat Geo. On YouTube, Nat Geo has many videos. Here's a cool one about a lion. Snakes fighting cats. It's called a meerkat. It's not a cat. Looks more like a monkey than a cat. Dragonflies. Sharks. Octopi. But they put octopuses. Come on, have fun. Right, octopi. Number 29 is the last one we're going to do today, and it's the first one we're going to do next time, because it's a word that you think you know, but many people say it wrong. Bored and boring. Many times you get confused. Do you remember confused, my beautiful drawings of the numbers and the animals? Bored is how you feel. Boring is the thing that makes you bored. They're both adjectives. But remember, bored is how you describe yourself, how you are feeling, your emotion. Remember, class is very exciting. But for this example, we're going to say it's not exciting. We're going to say it's boring. So, I want you to say, and I know it's not true, this is false, but just say it. English class is boring. Teacher John is boring. I feel bored. Remember, the D will sound like a D, so I want to hear bored. Yes, it sounds like chalkboard. Sounds exactly the same, but the spelling is different. Please remember, it's not B-O-A-R-D, it's B-O-R-E-D. Ready? Say it again. School is boring. I am bored. Many students will get these confused. Try to remember the opposite. Exciting. Class is exciting. I feel excited. You would not get those words wrong. You would not say, I feel exciting. You would not say that. But many students say, I feel boring. I remember last year for your oral test, this was one of the answers on the questions. Many people got it wrong, so you need to practice. It is time for the recap. So. We talked about some vocabulary that was very easy, like hobby, hobbies, but the part that I want you to remember most, two things. Number one, I am Superman. That is most important. Second most important was Metropolis. We don't care about Superman's city. And it's okay if you don't remember the word Metropolis. Taipei is a metropolis. That's okay. I want you to remember metro. When we say MRT, we could also say metro. It's a substitute. Ready? I'm going to take the MRT. I'm going to take the metro. Same thing. Both are okay. You don't need to remember the three words, MRT, mass, rapid, transit. Not important. Just remember metro, because when you're in the metro in Taipei or in Japan, in Korea, in New York City, you will see a big letter M. The M means metro. So if you go somewhere and you want to find the MRT station, look on a map and the letter M will be metro. And now you know what it means. Now you know why the M 
means MRT. Okay? Class is over. Go do more homework. No video games. But it's okay if you watch the Nat Geo videos on YouTube. Okay? Goodbye. Class is over. Go do homework.